late last year, I was saying, you know, November's a long time to hold your breath. And I, I think it was showing you at, at that moment where I really was. The, you know, I was worried about how the elections were going to go in November. But over that time, you know, uh, you, you saw me on, on Geoscope. If you could compare me that time to sort of, you know, you know, Graham... <laughs> I, I sort of really sort of mellowed out. And, and there was, trust me, Trump has still a lot of problems he has to solve. He has a lot of problems he still has to solve and somehow deal with, uh, you know, in this upcoming election. Remember, like three of the big swing states that the Republicans need to win, the GOP there in those states, bankrupt. That is going to cause a significant problem when it comes up to the local elections. Remember, we've just had a, an election here, and we saw how bad it was for conservative candidates who basically just completely stopped, you know, uh, campaigning completely once CCHQ had withdrawn the money and, of course, the activists. And that means, in that state, and bear in mind, I, I, I know America's big, I know, shocking thing to say, but in these states where you've got to cover so much area, you've got to do that. You've got to have the volunteers. You've got to have the money to be able to sort of start those operations. That isn't going to exist. So while there is still significant challenges that, you know, to Trump's campaign and that it doesn't necessarily mean he is going to win, I do worry that his now chances because of uh, what happened very recently might have now increased that. And of course, recently, um, he's just picked J.D. Vance to run as his vice president pick. And to me, some of the things that J.D. Vance has said in the past, which we'll be going over in the moment, are probably going to worry me certainly a lot more, I mean a lot more, than Donald Trump being in the White House. So... Before we go uh, getting into this, um, please remember to click on the like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page, the one-off station link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can well buy me coffee, the YouTube thank you button. And of course, down below, there's the Pony Club as well. And of course, we've just done episode 101 today. <laughs> um, you know, how to be hopeful and and keep, keep hopeful, <laughs> which again, uh, going from that to this, uh, trust me, is very jarring. <laughs> It's very, very jarring, but I think it was something that, you know, needs needs to be said, uh, and I think it was something that, you know, I, I wanted to sort of, you know, talk about um, for that particular Pony Club episode, because uh, I, I did see a lot of people last night um, in the Geoscope chat really, you know, you know really, really having a bad time, and I, 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 I'm not trying to you know, scare or, or worry people too much, it's just that, as I said a long, long time ago, uh, you know, when we talk, when we're doing Geoscope, um, a lot of the stuff we're going to be talking about is not going to be good, <laughs> and unfortunately, that's foreign politics for you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, so let's crack on then uh, into this. So, JD fans, um, first of all, let's address something that a lot of people have very very much brought up. Um, JD Vance for a long long time going back to sort of 2016, was a never-Trumper. This was one of those Republicans who are like, Trump can never be our pick. He can never be president. He is, he is terrible. He's doing awful. And there are a load, and I mean an absolute load of quotes out there. You know, news sites have been been correlating them. You know, J.D. Vance said this about Trump. He said this about Trump when, when this happened. So, there are a ton of quotes out there about J.D. Vance, just about how much he really does not like uh, Donald Trump. Now, why on earth would Trump choose someone like that to be his running mate? Well, when, you know, you've seen the the, the American commentators sort of doing the rounds, there's two big reasons. First of all, um, there was this idea that Trump wanted a more youthful pick. He wanted a youthful candidate. Um, this would sort of contrast him to sort of, you know, the Biden campaign, um, but also you wanted someone who was going to be loyal. And what loyalty, you'd say, when, you know, this is a guy who has a ton of anti-Trump comments. Well, it's not that he just has a ton of anti-Trump comments. It's that really for past 
what well, almost two or three years, even though again there are still a lot of anti-Trump comments he's done during that time as well. Um he has has gone very, very loyal to the to the Trump cause, to the to the, the Trump line. Um he's very much a, a neo-reactionary in the similar vein to Trump. Um, you know, Ukraine where he basically just wants to completely abandon Ukraine completely. Um says that America should just not be involved, should not be giving it any money or anything like that whatsoever. Um, it is kind of weird, given the fact that, you know, he recently said at a the NatCon uh, that just happened just a couple of weeks ago that, oh, um, you know, the first ever, you know, Islamist country in the world to gain nuclear weapons is actually the UK government under Labour because, you know, the Biden administration doesn't care about nuclear proliferation. Remember, this is the guy who, again, part of the Republicans, and this is where it worries me. First of all, you know, you've got the whole history of you know, Ukraine giving up its nukes in return for security guarantees. As we've said many, many times before on here on Geoscope, this sends a massive message to the world that uh, if you are a small country and you border a, 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 a larger country, um, you should probably have nukes uh, to defend yourself or at least stop any potential invasion that that's the message this 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 conflict sends out if if jd vance and trump get their way uh, especially when it comes to sort of ukraine that is very very worrying very very worrying because that needs more nuclear weapons um significantly so very very much significantly so so that's not worrying at all where he says things like that and of course very very much against uh things like the the iran agreement we've just seen iran's new uh president a very much a a reformer very someone who's you know progressive foreign iranian um but there are opportunities really there to bring iran back into sort of the 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 sort of the international community sort of start to normalize relations uh you know uh, uh, along these along these lines which would have big positive benefits you know in in, in a lot of cases um uh, will we be able to achieve that certainly not under you know a, a trump jd vans presidency and then of course you've got the even more worrying part that you know trump is not exactly the most spry individual people worried about of course you know biden you know keeling over uh, during his presidency well there's still a good chance that could happen to trump he's not exactly the most you know fit individual and if something happened to him then of course jd vance would of course take over as as vice president um that would be incredibly incredibly bad incredibly incredibly bad um you know he is you know he's a near reactionary uh, anything you know you could possibly think that he has a, a negative reaction to um you know Easier man. Uh, it, as I said before, I think on Geoscope, it's easier to sort of list the things he's for than rather than what he's against. Um, <laughs> bit of bit of humor there. Um, but yeah, honestly, JD Vance worries me far far more than Donald Trump being in the White House for for a numerous reasons. Because I think this guy is, as often people have talked about in the past, Trump being you know, an, an incompetent fascist and that it's the competent fascist you've got to worry about. Well, J.D. Vance definitely does strike me as, as as that competent fascist. And with someone like that behind Trump, especially with things like Project 2025, the framework in behind that, you know, lots of, lots of problems then on an international stage. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, keep hopeful, everyone. <laughs> um but as always uh let me know what you think down below and of course as always uh click on the like the share button uh there's the patreon page down below there's the buy me coffee link there's the pony club as well where you can well find out to be a bit more hopeful if you're feeling a bit doomer after that um then of course as always uh thank you very much uh for all your help and support and of course as always we'll see you all next time <laughs>